Hello again, I'm Matthew Cassidy from the International Sales Department here at Yandex, and this is part two of our lesson about the Yandex Advertising Network. Now, let's talk about how to set up campaigns for ad networks. When creating ads specifically for the Yandex Advertising Network, it's important that your ads be clear. Users may see your ads while they are checking their email or reading the news, meaning that they are not specifically searching for your product or service at that moment. If your ad is too vague, the user might not understand what you are offering. Your ad should point out the advantages or benefits of your product or service and mention its key features. So, make sure your ad texts describe what is most important, what sets your product or service apart. To create the most effective ads possible, take advantages of all the features available. Similar to search campaigns, Ad texts in Yan campaigns can appear in bold text. Yandex Direct's algorithm determines which text to highlight based on your keywords and helps draw attention to the most important text in your ads. Ads in the Yandex advertising network can also have callouts and site links. We recommend adding them so that they appear when possible. Add a vCard with your address and phone number. And of course, you should add images to your ads to make them more noticeable. It's also a good idea to create several different ads in one group. You can compare their performance to see which features work best. One of the main recommendations to increase your campaign's effectiveness is to add images. Ads with images are more noticeable, which is even more important in ad networks. And as a result, their click-through rate is higher. Images incorporate information and make it more visible, so you have more space to show the advantages of your offering. Images must meet certain technical requirements. The maximum file size is 10 megabytes. The images can be JPG, PNG, or GIF files. There are also limitations for the size of the images. We recommend creating two versions of each ad, standard and widescreen to make sure your ads appear with images on all available sites. For more detailed information, check out the corresponding section of the Yandex Direct help page. You can upload an image when creating or editing an ad. Scroll down to the Ad Extensions block on the Ad Creation page. Next to Image, click the Add button and select a method to upload. This is how it looks on the page where you create ad groups. In Yandex Direct, you can now serve large image ads that feature a link to your landing page, text, and your company's logo. Image ads describe your product visually. Users that click on them will be directed to your landing page. This format combines the advantages of display advertising with the technology of contextual ads. You can load a creative from your computer or from the internet, or create them using Image Ad Builder. You can only add one creative for each ad. Creatives that you upload from your computer or the internet must meet the following technical requirements. The maximum file size is 120 kilobytes. They can be JPG, PNG, or GIF files. For more detailed information, check out the corresponding section of the Yenix Direct help page. This is what it looks like on the page where you create your ads. You can see the checkbox where you should select Image as your ad type. Click Add next to Creative to upload an image from your computer or the internet. You can also create one using Image Ad Builder. Then enter the address of your landing page. Click Add Banner to save your changes and continue creating ads in this group. Each ad can have only one creative. Let's remember the requirements for ad images. Images must be high quality, clear, relevant, and meet both legal and Yandex's requirements. Text, logos, and watermarks should take up no more than 20% of the entire image, except text that appears on the product's packaging or a screenshot of a game or app. In addition, images must not contain elements of the interface that could confuse the user, products or other attributes of the advertiser's competitors, or monochromatic fill or empty spaces larger than 20% of the whole image. Now let's discuss how to choose keywords for your YAN campaigns. 
there are certain nuances to selecting keywords for campaigns in ad networks. If ads appear on search results pages, everything is straightforward. The user enters a specific query and wants the most specific answer possible. But in ad networks, there is no search query. Instead, we rely on the content of the host site and the user's interests and use them to determine where and what to show them. First off, it's worth mentioning that if your campaign appears in search and ad networks, the click-through rate in ad networks will not influence cost per click in search. You can use broad, high-frequency keywords for campaigns in ad networks. You can likewise use keywords from related topics, with caution, of course, since campaigns with irrelevant keywords may not pass moderation. So, for example, if you sell educational toys for children, it's feasible for you to include the keyword educational cartoons in your campaigns. But if you sell office supplies and want to surf ads for the keyword manicure, you will not reach your target audience and will be wasting your budget. Don't use long keywords. Keywords that are too narrow generally don't perform well in ad networks and cut off users in your target audience. Two to three words are enough. Check your keywords carefully and remove any that are too narrow. In search campaigns, we always want to correct any overlapping keywords to make sure they don't compete with each other. But in Yan campaigns, we should delete negative keywords and leave short, broad keywords. This is an important point. In search campaigns, advertisers often add words like forum and reviews to our negative keyword list. The keywords indicate that the user is looking for information and search campaigns are not interested in users doing research. They are interested in users looking to make purchases. So what about ad networks? These keywords are actually quite useful for campaigns in ad networks. Imagine a user who visits a forum to read recent reviews of different laptops. The user's research will lead to a purchase once they find the information they are looking for. At this moment, it's a good idea to show users ads for laptops or to show ads to a user who recently visited such a forum and read reviews of different laptops. There are still certain keywords we should add to our negative keyword list. For example, if we are selling new laptops, we don't want to show our ads to users looking for laptop repair services. They have already made their purchase. We use operators quite often in search campaigns. Let's refresh our memory. What functions do different operators serve? Quotation marks or inverted commas are an exact match, meaning an impression will take place only for the keywords in the phrase in quotation marks. Quotation marks cut off all inlaid queries and significantly narrow the reach of your campaign. A plus sign forces Yandex Direct to pay attention to prepositions, meaning there are three words in the query instead of two. Remember that the longer the keyword is, the smaller its coverage. An exclamation mark sets a specific form of the word it precedes. This is significant in Russian as any noun can have many forms. Limiting the possible forms of a word considered means limiting the reach of the keyword. So in short, what do we recommend you do with operators in your YAN campaigns? Just get rid of them. Operators deprive your campaigns of valuable portions of your potential audience on high-quality sites. We've got one last section about additional features in the Andex advertising network, notably retargeting lists and smart banners. Retargeting lists make it possible for you to show ads in the Andex advertising network to a pre-selected audience or to users who previously visited your site and completed certain actions. So, what are retargeting lists based on? First, they can be based on goals in Yandex Metrica. For example, you show ads to users who added an item to the cart but didn't place an order. You might have noticed this yourself. You visit an online store, view certain items, and then see those items appear in ads, reminding you about the items you left in your cart. Second, you can use Yandex Metrica to create retargeting lists based on age, gender, device, 
and the site the user arrived from. If you are interested in goals or segments in Yandex Metrica, contact your personal manager or the customer service department and we will help you get started. And last, there is the new Yandex Audience service. What's so great about Yandex Audience? You can upload your own data from your CRM system, for example, a list of email addresses, and Yandex Audience will match them with Yandex's internal data. You can then create a segment to target your own previous customers. So, how do you actually set up retargeting lists? This is what the page looks like in the interface. To create a retargeting list, you should first create a segment or goal in the corresponding service. In the bottom left-hand corner of the Campaign Settings page, click Target Audience under the General Lists heading. Please note that to use segments from Yandex Metrica or Yandex Audience, they should be created using the same account that you use in Yandex Direct. If you already have segments in a different account, you should give your Yandex Direct account access to the other account. Here are several examples of how to appeal to different customers. For goals in Yandex Metrica, for example, a user added an item to a cart but did not place an order. Ads for such users should contain a specific call to action. Return to the site and complete your purchase. If you use Yandex Metrica segments, you can show relevant products and services to segments based on age and gender. If you are using Yandex Audience segments, you can create a segment of your existing customers and offer them new products or services, like car maintenance for someone who recently purchased a car. Smart Banners are another tool that we recently launched. This is a new display advertising format in Yandex Direct. To create a Smart Banner, upload a file with a list of products, your feed, and configure the visual design. Yandex Direct will analyze the feed's content and automatically generate interactive banners that show users the products they are most likely to be interested in, based on their interests. Smart banners are especially useful for advertising retail products, real estate, cars, hotels, and plane tickets. So, what do smart banners look like? With plenty of settings to choose from, you can show your products individually, in a carousel or mosaic, or highlight discounts and special offers. More than 20 templates are available. We recommend experimenting with different formats to see which one brings the highest CTR. Products are chosen personally for each individual user the moment the ad appears, using their interests or previously viewed products. You don't need to choose keywords or write ad texts for each product on your site. Yandex Direct does the lion's share of the work with automatically generated smart banners. You can set up your feed to upload automatically. This will make sure that your ads are always up to date. You only pay when users click through to your website and not for impressions. And with Yandex Metrica, you can enable dynamic retargeting and show users who previously visited your site the products they viewed but did not purchase. If you are interested in launching smart banner campaigns, please contact your personal manager or the customer service department, and they'll help you get started. And with that, we come to the end of this video lesson. In the previous video, we saw what you can achieve with campaigns for ad networks. Now you know how to set up such campaigns and what additional features are available. I want to remind you just how important images are for your campaigns in ad networks. To successfully attract users' attention on YAN sites, images are a must-have. Carefully check and make changes to your ad texts and keyword list to make sure your campaigns get the maximum reach and the best results possible. And of course, we recommend using all available features in your YAN campaigns retargeting lists, smart banners, and image ads. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this video lesson. As always, there are links to all the materials and tools mentioned in the description below this video. Thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.